<laughs> she gets up as soon as we start. Just keep recording, okay? All right, come here, sit down. Sit down, come here, sit. Boo, sit, sit. Good girl. All right, hey Life Kids, Miss Jamie here. Um, this is Boo. She is my brother's dog. She's a white German Shepherd, and she is the sweetest girl in the whole world, the sweetest puppy in the whole world. And um, I wanted you guys to get a chance to meet her since we're getting to do these videos. And you guys will get a chance to, you know, see a part of um, my life. And this is Boo. And uh, right now she's taking up a, a lot of time of mine. The only time we're really doing anything fun is um, when we're getting to spend time together and going on these walks together. And, uh, you know, she, um, she can do some pretty cool tricks. I've got a couple of tricks I want to show you guys. But also... She does, one thing she doesn't do very well is listen. Like right now, for instance, when I want her to sit up and she wants to roll around in the ground. <laughs> she doesn't always listen so well. And uh, it, when we go on these walks and she thinks she knows what way we should go and she's pulling me all over the place, but I know which way is safer. You know, she's, most of the time she's following her nose, but I know which way is safer and better for us. Come here, come here, boo, hey, come here. Yeah, don't stay with me. Sit down. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, she doesn't listen so well. Um, but it reminded me of a story in the Bible about Jonah. And you know, God told Jonah very clearly, he told Jonah what he wanted him to do. He wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he wanted Jonah to tell the people of Nineveh, it, about, of Nineveh um, you know, to get rid of their sins. They needed to start living right. But Jonah thought he knew better. Why Jonah thought he knew better than God, I don't know. But he did. And so he decided, come here, boo. Come here, you're missing the video. Come here. Hey, right here. Right here. Right here. Is it bone? No, okay. So Jonah, Jonah uh, thought he knew better than God. And so he got on a boat. And he went in the complete opposite direction of Nineveh. He tried to run from God. But he would soon find out you can't run from God. So while Jonah is on this boat, this big storm comes up, and it's rocking the boat, and you know, Jonah, he knows something's up. So he just, he volunteers. He's going to, you know, be thrown overboard. He thinks if, if this must be God, and if I throw myself overboard, then these people on the boat are gonna make it. So he does that, he does just that. And uh, he gets thrown overboard, and God causes this big, this great fish to come up, and swallow Jonah whole. And so Jonah is in the belly of this great fish for three days because he didn't listen to God. He should have listened to God. So, you know, sometimes God talks to us too. And uh, we don't always listen. Sometimes God wants us to go and talk to someone about him or maybe he wants um, us to go and help someone and we don't always listen to him. And just like Jonah, you know, sometimes that comes with some consequences. <laughs> Ooh, what's she doing? Come here. It comes with some consequences to us. And, uh, you know, you might be saying, Miss Jamie, I'm just a kid, and God does not talk to me. But you know that God used kids all throughout the Bible to do great things. There were kids that were kings and kids that defeated giants. And, you know, God can use us to do great things, too. <laughs> Here she comes again. <laughs> and she's going to stand between me and you this whole time. <laughs> um, so, God can use us to do things, too. And, and uh, it makes me, you know, whenever you are um, reading God's Word, He can talk to us through His Word. Sometimes He talks to us aloud, like He did to Jonah. You know, my dad, he would say it this way. Jonah like God like God sounded like that when he talked to Jonah um, and I don't know if that's necessarily true but it's fun to do and uh, <laughs> God can talk to us aloud like that or he can talk to us through his word and we can read scriptures in the Bible like this one that I'm gonna read you guys today it's in Psalm 119 it's verse 105 and it says your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path that means that God knows what we need. He knows what direction we need to go. He knows what things we need to do, how we can reach other people for his kingdom. <laughs> come here, you, come here. 
how he can, how we can reach other people for his kingdom and uh and how how he can use us and all we have to do is just be willing to listen to him and so we can listen to him by reading his word and by praying to him he can speak to us sometimes sometimes it's just a gentle nudge in the right direction um there's another verse in the bible that tells us that we'll hear a voice behind us saying this is the way walk in it and that's god telling us which way we should go so just because you're a kid does not mean that you can't hear from god because you can hear from god too but we need to make sure that we're listening and a big way to listen is to make sure you're reading your bible every day so let's do better than boo here does and let's listen to god and uh, follow his directions instead of our own because his way is always going to be better than our way um i hope you guys enjoyed our time together today i hope you guys liked meeting boo um and I hope that uh, we can all be together again soon. See you later. You can turn it off now.